The UNCW hosted Towson Saturday for the first game in the post Benny Moss era. Brooks Lee, Moss's three-year assistant, was called upon to clean up the mess that has been the Seahawks basketball season. The Seahawks are rolling early on as John Fields gets a put-back dunk, and then just minutes later throws it down with two hands to put the Seahawks up 9-2. Later, Chad Tomko gets one of his five assists as he finds Ahmad Grant from the wing for a three. Grant shows off his athleticism on the defensive end as he blocks Towson's Josh Brown on the way in for a layup. But from midway through the first half on, the Seahawks struggled mightily shooting the basketball. For the game, they only shot 32% from the floor, but from three, they shot an abysmal 14%. In the second half alone, the Seahawks were one of 19 from three. But as usual, the lone bright spot on the team was Fields, who gets a rebound and layup here. Fields had a school record 21 rebounds for the game. In the end, Towson was just too much for the Hawks, as they leave Wilmington with a victory, 58-53. Fans filed out of the stands with less than a minute left, disappointed the Seahawks couldn't beat the last place Tigers. So, in the post Benny Moss era, the Seahawks are 0 on 1. But Coach Brooks was pleased with this team's effort Saturday night. Uh, very pleased tonight with our effort. Um, that's what we focused on coming into the game playing hard, playing together, um, playing with passion and emotion. And I, I thought we took a step forward in that aspect of, uh, of the game tonight uh, and with our team. Offensively, uh, I, c I could never dream that we, we could miss so many uh, wide open shots from our best shooters. The players have had mixed emotions these last 48 hours, none more so than John Fields. I just, I just want to thank Coach Miles for giving me a chance to play college basketball near my house. I mean, uh, uh, I transferred to East Carolina because of Coach Miles, but uh, we just, we, things happen. It's the real world. We just got to put things behind us and uh, keep on going for these last eight games, trying to get hot into the tournament. John Fields has been rock solid for the Hawks all season long, but he couldn't help but get, let his emotions get the best of him at the press conference Saturday night. Understandable for someone who has considered Moss a father figure throughout the year. And with eight games left, the Seahawks will try to gain some momentum before the CAA tournament. That can start Tuesday night when the Seahawks face BCU at home. For the Cape Fear Sports Report, I'm Jim Dalkey.